Hey guys, Huseboy24 here, and today I got you a hybrid squad builder uh, playing a 3 4 1 2 formation. Alex Ferguson has my manager, he is in formation. Why would he not be? You know, why would he not be? Okay, moving on, let's go to the uh, goalkeeper. So, who do we have in goal? We have got our man of the match. Great goalie to have. Might actually do a review on Quartois Man of the Match very, very soon. Okay, moving on to his attributes. We have 80 diving, 91 handling. That is his best stat. Handling and reflexes. Probably one of the most important stats. Maybe positioning and diving. But as you see, all those stats are green, which are important. Kicking and speed, not that great. Speed, very disappointing. 51. Kicking, 64. But oh well. Reflexes, 87. That is amazing. And positioning is 84, uh, an alright average stats. He plays for Atletico Madrid, well he was on loan for Atletico Madrid, but he is a Chelsea player and he is Belgium. Okay, so his weak foot is 3 stars, not bad for a goalie, and skill moves. Pretty impressive, 1 star skill moves. That is what I school call a skillful goalie. He is pretty skillful. So um, stay away from hip strikers. Anyway, moving on. So um, as you can see in the stats on the right, we have 78 games played for another club and two goals scored. So he doesn't save goals. He also scores goals. So that is pretty impressive stuff. Okay, moving on to my centre-back. We have company. Manchester City, also Belgium. That's why I picked him for chemistry. And uh, weak foot, three stars, and skill moves, two. Pretty impressive for a defender. Skill moves, two star. Uh, bought him for 24k, I bought for twice, actually, for 29k. All these bought for stats are the buy now price. Okay, so he's played 287, 286 games of that is for other clubs, and one game is for my club. He scored 19 for um, another club, 19 in total, obviously. None for me. Uh, yellow cards. 13 and 6 red cards. Let's check his attributes. Well, he has 74 pace, that is pretty pacey for a centre back. But not as pacey as another defender, which I'm going to show you soon. Uh, shooting 57, we don't really expect shooting to be a high stat and a defender. Uh, passing 74 right, uh, dribbling 72. Really, we don't need dribbling in a defender either. But defending is probably the most important, well, not probably, it's the most important stat and defender. In ultimate team and that is 86 and heading 79 so his heading is pretty pretty good um, he does get his head onto the ball but sometimes it does go over lucky chance that it'll go in uh, defending um, amazing he blocks he's a complete tank he's basically a tank defender's gonna run at him or not a defender striker he's gonna run at company he um the striker's just gonna fall to the floor he is a tank Okay, that is a Vincent Company. Okay, moving on to my other centre back, Pacey as a dog. As a hyena. Why did I even give an example as a Pacey thing as a dog? A hyena, faster than a hyena, faster than a puma, faster than a lion. It's Cialini. Cialini is a complete tank and um, weak foot, two stars, and skill moves, two stars as well. Pretty good for a defender, 2 star, skill moves, stay away from Giorgio Cialini, uh, bought him for 13,500 coins, and uh, let's check his attributes, 80 pace, that is a tank of a pace, stats, does that even make sense, I don't know, I don't care, 80 pace, bang, 57 shooting, 64 passing, and 53 dribbling, shooting, passing, dribbling, don't care, defending is the most important, 86, same as company, Absolutely amazing. He's a complete tank as well. Same as company. I like to give an example. If a defender sports not defender, I just said it again. If a striker runs at Chiellini, company, or my other defender, they fall over. These three defenders are complete tanks. Um, moving on to the heading, 84. Slightly better, I think. Yeah, just a bit better than company. Uh, he, again, he also gets his head on, but sometimes he does fly over the bar. But... Most likely, if he does get a head on to it, it actually does go in. And uh, he plays for Juve, Serie A. He's Italian as well. Okay, that, well, he's even six foot one. That explains why he's so good at heading. 
Uh, moving on to his stats for my club and others. I uh, played one game for me, played 20 games for the other, so in total played 21. Scored 0, yellow cards 5, but he has actually scored a goal for me. I think this hasn't been updated, the uh, club stats. But anyway, uh, yellow cards is 5 and red cards is 1. Okay, moving on to my other centre back, we have PK. And PK, biggest rated centre back in the um, in this hybrid, and um, rated 86. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. He has some skill to pay the bills. Three stars for a defender, that is pretty impressive. Six foot four, so he does get quite a good header, but not as good as um, Chiellini. As you can see, there 81 heading. But his defending is 86, the same as Vincent Company and um, Giolini. Uh, pace 62, shooting 52, passing 76, dribbling uh, 67. Uh, centre back for Barcelona, very, very well known. Very well known to getting sent off in the Federation Cup a couple of weeks ago against Brazil, if you didn't see that. Okay, that was Gerald PK going for 6k. That was the buy now price. Okay, moving on to my center def center midfielders. Uh, in my center midfield, I have Cesc Fabregas. Well, we'll switch him over to here, and um, he is 87 rated, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Same as a uh, same as Poil up uh, PK. PK and Poil. I just get mixed up. Anyway, 69 pace, not great. Shooting 80. Pretty decent for a centre midfield and passing 90. That's the best stat. We expect quite a lot of good stats for a centre midfielder. It has to be a pass. The passing stat the most important for a centre midfielder. Uh, finally, that made sense. Um, dribbling 84, defending 68, and heading 70. Uh, plays for Barcelona. And he's a centre midfielder, Spanish, which boosts up the chemistry. Uh, he's played 12 games in total, 11 for the others, and uh, one for me. Scored three goals in total, two for them, one for me. No yellows or reds. He's five for ten, so that's why his heading got that great. Okay, moving on to my centre midfielders. I do have another 87 rated by tens to choose. Marquisio. Mark Kisio. Probably didn't pronounce that correctly. Give it a like if I didn't pronounce it correctly. And subscribe. Okay. Um. Anyway. So I actually expect you all to like and subscribe to this video and me because I did not pronounce this guy correctly. Claudio Marquisio. There we are. Um, well, weak foot, four stars, and skill moves three. Slightly better with his weak foot on um, against Fabregas. But he has 84, Matt Fabregas is 87. Pace 80, brilliant pace, shooting 77, passing 82, is not 90 passing, but still. Pretty good stat, dribbling 84, defending 76, pretty good defending stat there, and heading 69. And he's placed for Juve, Serie A, and he's Italian. Uh, I bought him for 2,000 coins, uh, played 24 for 25 games, in total 24 for the other club and uh, 1 for me, scored 3 goals in total and 1 in the club, not 1 red so far, so far, probably will do. Moving on to my right midfielder, I have two very decent ones. I've got Farfran and Jesus Navas. I tend to use Jesus Navas because I keep that chemistry down the line. And um, 85 rated, he's got 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 5 foot 7, quite sure. Uh, bought him for 3,700 coins. Uh, Played 16 games in total, 1 for me, 15 for the others. 3 game, or three goals in total, 2 for the others, 1 for me. Uh, move on to the attributes, pace 92, absolutely brilliant pace there, lightning as quick, lightning quick I meant, shooting 73, passing 80, dribbling 86, pretty good dribbling there, well we expect a good dribbling from a uh, winger, or a right mid, uh, defending 43, obviously we don't expect much, but he's actually good at defending, he does snatch the ball, uh, heading 57, we don't expect much because he is a short lad. As we can see there, that was Jesus Navas, complete Jesus there. Okay, next we have Jovinka. I only have Young, both set, both um, rated the same. Jovinka is slightly faster. I also like to keep that um, 
you know, that chemistry down the line going. Okay, so Sebastian Giovinco, 5'5", five five, quite short lads. Uh, move on to his attributes, 92 pace. That is pretty decent for a winger, or we expect a good pace like this. For a winger, same pace as Jesus Navas on the other side, on the right midfield. Uh, shooting, 78. Passing, 77. Dribbling, 92. That's amazing. 92 dribbling is better than Jesus Navas. He, it's just amazing his dribbling skills. Um, defending 45, not brilliant, and heading 46, not brilliant. We can tell that because he is a short lad and again. Place for Juve, Serie A, Italian. His weak foot is four, and skill moves is three. He doesn't have as much skill, as much skill, kind of pronounce much wrong, um, as Jesus, Nav Jesus Navas, not Jesus Navas. Uh, weak foot is stronger than Jesus Navas. So overall, they're pretty much the same. Uh, again, Jesus Navas is rated 85, and somehow Giovinco is rated 82. Come on, EA. Giovinco is a quality player. Center forwards. Move on to my center forwards. I have Hansik and Royce. I tend to use Royce. But I do have Hansik in the bench for safety. Uh, rated 84, Marco Royce. Hansik rated 85. Uh, play for Borussia Dortmund. For Borussia Dortmund. What? The rest is in Borussia, as you can see there. Oh, doesn't even show. But anyway, he is Germany or German from Germany. He speaks German and is German. Uh, weak foot, four stars, and skill moves, four stars. Pretty decent stat there. Uh, five foot eleven. All right, average height. Four four two thousand eight hundred four. Depends what formation you get him. Sometimes he does go for tank pace uh, in some formations. Uh, games played, 26 in total, 1 for me, 25 for all others, goal scored, 11, that is some pretty good stats there, centre forward, uh, 90 pace, that's an incredible centre forward, centre forward, 90 pace there, shooting 84, could be a bit better, his 84 could increase a bit, uh, but overall his shooting is pretty good, uh, pi passing, I think, passing, 74, obviously we don't expect passing to be great, we just expect the three balls to be great. Uh, Different passing and through balls. Come on. Uh, dribbling 84. Uh, obviously, he's got pace, so dribbling has to be good. Uh, heading and defending still be good. He doesn't even need to defend, so don't worry about that. Center forward for Borussia Dortmund, and uh, that is Marco Royce. Moving on to my striker, we have Gomez, Fernando Torres, and Di Natale. But I have to put this beast on. Di Natale, you should play with this. Team of the season card is absolutely amazing. He's complete dench. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Five foot seven, quite small, and uh, 27k. I bought him quite expensive. Uh, played 29 games in total, one game for me, 28 for the others, 20 goals in total, 18 for them, two for me. So he scored more goals than played. Uh, 87 pass and that is tremendous pace there for a striker, not tremendous, but all right pace, average pace, more, more than average pace. Shooting, 87. Passing, 82. Dribbling, 88. Defending, we don't care. Heading, 62. Or if you do care about defending, it's 47. Uh, place for Udinese, Serie A, Italian. He is a complete beast. You should have him up front. Do not, if you're going to change any strikers in your team that you, I know, research great strikers and you, you haven't seen him go and get him he is an absolute tank every time he shoots it's a goal pass to defender through ball from Royce to Di Natale he's he's through and goal he beats that defender and goes straight to a one-on-one -on -one attack okay moving on to my striker we have Fernando Torres we do have Gomez he is two three two rated upper Upper two rated, ah, uh, I don't know, 87 for 9 for his 85C, to get what I mean. But I just tend to use Torres to get that chemistry down the line. Um, Fernando Jose Torres Sands, I never knew that was his name. Just learned something there from FIFA, see, FIFA is quite educational. Uh, weak foot, four stars. Skill moves, four stars. Pretty good skills and weak foot for a striker. Uh, 102 games played, 101 games with the others, one game for me, 48 goals in total, none for me for that he has scored. Definitely check out my pick slips. I bet you he has scored. Uh, yellow cards two and no red so far. 
Torres will wait and see until we get a red card. Okay, uh, moving on to my bench. We have... Which one are we going to pick? Sirigu or Mandana? We're going to pick Mandana. And we'll put Sirigu in bench. Uh, we have in defence the Marlin. Great defender to have in your bench. He, he should be rated like 87. He's a complete tank. He doesn't feel like an 82 defender. And uh, his pace is not 70. Even though it's 870, he feels much quicker. Uh, or faster. Uh, left and forward. And right mid, we have Farfran. Uh, great skill on the ball. He's got some skill moves there. Uh, left mid is Young. I've got Shabby Alonso, centre midfielder, 87 rated. So I can always swap Fabregas or Marcus here with him. Uh, Hansik, centre forward, 85 rated. He's actually better than Royce, but I don't know why. Royce is decent, so I, I tend to keep him. Uh, Hansik again, another great player to have in your bench or in your squads. And then up front we have Gomez, not Sirigu. And then Reserve. Way Sirigu, the only player in Reserve. So we have a rating of 85 and a chemistry of 99. This was my team. Uh, it's a great beast team to have. It's a hybrid squad. It cost me about 150k. And uh, yeah. And we will be seeing some gameplays after this. Or oh, right now. <laughs>